so apparently Salmon Run is coming back to Splatoon 3 as it was revealed by Nintendo Direct, and holy moly, it was a surprise. Throw all the lore out of the window and call me dumb because I originally thought we were gonna get a replacement PvE mode, but... No. I somewhat managed to predict us getting a release date and all we get is Summer 2022. That's all I needed. But we're not here to drool over the new Splatoon 3 trailer even though it was honestly kind of lackluster. There's not too much to unwrap here except for a new stage, new bosses, new UI, etc. There are many cool hidden details to explore, but to be honest, I'm leaving that to someone else mainly because reasons. The new Splatoon North American account has sent us images on Twitter providing us more context on each feature shown, so I'm here to relay all that info to you guys. The first thing I would like to talk about is that we're no longer going to be on a boat, and instead we'll be on a helicopter. Not gonna lie, I originally thought this was off the hook at first because it reminded me of the helicopter you see towards the ending of Octo Expansion, but nah. As soon as I saw those outfits, my mind clicked immediately. Also, this is supposed to be a dedicated helicopter according to a tweet. Grisco is apparently profiting enough money to buy one, even enough to buy new ink-resistant gear for Inklings and Octolings, which is a significantly updated look from the original Salmon Run gear. It looks more protective and professional in terms of design, they have what seems to be a pad on their backs, and now they're wearing headphones for which I presume is to listen to Mr. Grizz's dialogue, which is cool attention to detail. Apparently Mr. Grizz is back, and he's sitting there as if there isn't a crap ton of lore revolving around this radio. I'm assuming this is going to be the menu screen for Salmon Run Next Wave, because of how similarly placed Mr. Grizz is to the previous game. By the way, the room looks a lot more organized and cleaner compared to the mess of a room Grizzco had in Splat 2. We got a brand new exclusive stage called Sock Eye Stage which in terms of Salmon Run stages seems like the tiniest one so far. Although there could still be low tides, meaning there's still some stage left underneath that water, we'll have to wait and see. Everything from Splat 2 is back as well. We got the Steelhead, Stinger, Flyfish, Scrapper, Maz, Steel Eel, and the Drizzler. However, we got no signs of a Goldie, Griller, or Mothership. We got new bosses revealed in the trailer, the Fish Stick, the Flipper Flopper, and the King Salmonid, who I presume is a boss, unless he exists for the sake of adding more lore to the table, but I digress. The fish stick comes in with a drill with the platform attached, which allows the player to climb it and splat all the small fries spinning on top. These are the types of platforms that sit around when you splat the boss, and then they disappear when each round finishes. Snatchers have upgraded themselves where they snatch eggs and fly away. They might no longer come out of the water, snatch the eggs, and then go back in the water like they used to. Or maybe this completely depends on the difficulty. I might get into detail about that in another video. Next up is the Flipper Flopper. I don't have too much to say about this guy, except that it spawns a splat zone underneath the player, where if they stay there for too long, they die. This zone needs to be covered by you and your teammates before it submerges back into the ink, so that they'll be vulnerable. But I think every single person who watched the trailer knows already, so let's talk about the next big thing. Literally and figuratively. Officially, this guy is the King Salmonid, who we knew absolutely nothing about. <laughs> the King Salmonid, I'm just gonna call him Big Boss from now on because I mean, look at him. BB is clearly an important figure to this version of Salmon Run, as we can see in the background of the new official art that's totally not ripping off Godzilla. I feel like BB is going to be similar to a regular Kohawk, except he's much bigger and possibly slower. You and your teammates will have to damage him enough so that he turns into a stack of golden eggs. I would gladly go off on a tangent about BB, but this video would take way too long. We got the new stage and bosses out of the way, so let's talk about the... new UI? The trailer clearly said game footage not final, so maybe this is subject to change because those weapon icons don't sit well with me. But underneath those weapons are the Inkling and Octoling icons, and holy heck, they are so much thicker. It's now kind of difficult to tell the difference between the two since they almost look the same. Splat 2 Salmon Run had an entirely different UI that exists purely for the mode itself, so I personally find this as a downgrade. Also, fun fact, there's a hidden QR code where people have been assuming that if you scan it, it'll show the release date of the game. However, that was proven to be false. It's even in the first trailer for Splatoon 3, and not a single person said anything about it, so it's mostly just there for decoration. The special meter is now separated into 20-something shapes, and the most disappointing part about all this? They've still got this way in Booyah. Nintendo, please. We finally know how the Killer Royal 5.1 works. It's similar to how the original worked in Splat 1, where you have to aim a large cannon that shoots across the map. It's kind of difficult to tell how much damage the 5.1 will do compared to the original. As soon as you fire, 
the first two speakers on top will start blasting, and then you return to your regular firing mode, as you can see the charger aiming with a laser. Then the other speakers activate shortly after. We even know how the crab tank works, and it's confirmed to have two firing modes, one is rapid fire, and the other is a blast. ZR is most definitely rapid fire since we already used that button for shooting ink, and the R button is for blast shots. Another small detail all the competitive Splatoon players are still analyzing to this day is the squid roll. We see that the player inkling doing a squid roll back to back as they're trying to avoid a stinger. This debunks the theory of it being invincible from enemy shots, as you can see that damage is still taken while rolling. They have this glow during a roll, and as soon as they went through the stingray, it disappeared. But you know what else is bigger than all the things I've said? You can throw eggs! This was something we all needed in Splatoon 2, especially when you're playing on a stage like Ruins of Arc Polaris. I'm surprised they didn't think of this earlier, but now is a good time to add the mechanic, I suppose? Not only does this open a brand new opportunity for gamers to troll, imagine if there was a competitive version of Salmon Run and you just have that one person sabotaging the game by throwing eggs into the water. You can even throw eggs into the basket, which saves every single person alive a bunch of time. This isn't something you should be doing constantly though, as you have to keep track of your ink, since every throw will consume a lot of it. So it's best to be wise when it comes to throwing eggs at your teammates. I'm sure it'll still give you the option to put in the eggs when you're right next to the basket, which is something useful if you're only getting eggs from literally two feet from the basket. Well, that's all the stuff I could talk about from the non-final gameplay of Salmon Run Next Wave. I easily could have done a 70 facts type of video with this trailer, but to be honest, I'm tired of making those things. It's not as fun compared to all the other videos I make. Thankfully, we have Splatoon 3's release date. Kind of, but not really. And that's in summer 2022. I don't think it's June, since we already got Mario Strikers and Fire Emblem, so it's either July or August. But either way, I'm so excited to see more of this game as we're getting closer to release. Comment below your thoughts on Salmon Run Return to Splatoon 3. I will see you in another video. Bye!